Jack had ticked the chance, Sir Topham Hack was talking to Thomas. Thomas, you were to find all the lost and hidden tracks around the town. Thomas was pleased. And because you discovered Great Waterton, Sir Topham Hack added, I am also giving you the most important job of all. You are to be in charge of all the work. Fizzling fireboxes, puffed Thomas proudly. I'm bringing an engine from the mainland to do your usual jobs, Sir Topham Hatt added. Thomas didn't take any notice of this. He was too busy thinking about being in charge of all the work at Great Waterton. The next morning, Sir Topham Hatt arrived at Brendam Docks to meet the new engine. Even Cranky was excited. Suddenly, there was a loud sound of pistons pumping. From behind a cloud of steam, a new tank engine puffed slowly out. He was shinier and bigger and stronger than Thomas. This is Stanley, boomed Sir Topham Hat. Welcome to Sordor, Stanley. Oh, my, my, gasped Henry. Whatever will Thomas say? Thomas didn't know that Stanley had arrived. He had been busy. He had already found a lot of hidden tracks. Thomas puffed proudly along to his new engine shed. James huffed up. Look at my new shed, Thomas tooted grandly. While I'm in charge, I won't have time to puff back to Tidmouth. But James wasn't interested in Thomas's shed. I've just met the new engine, snorted James. He's called Stanley. He's very friendly. Everyone likes him. He's doing your jobs very well. Thomas was surprised. Suddenly, his new shed didn't seem so important. The next day, Thomas had to pull heavy freight cars of stone to the docks. He stopped at the washdown. He saw a shiny new tank engine. That must be Stanley, he puffed to himself. <laughs> Stanley and Percy were playing and joking. Both engines had told the workmen to pour on more bubbles. <laughs> Percy was giggling and Stanley was laughing even louder. Thomas felt left out. He tooted to his friend, but Percy was too busy having fun. He didn't notice Thomas. Thomas puffed on. He was upset. Later, Thomas stopped at the junction. Gordon was waiting. Suddenly, with a whoosh and a whistle, Stanley raced onto the main line with Annie and Clarabelle. They were having a wonderful time. They clattered straight past Thomas. Stanley knows how to have fun, Gordon declared. Thomas watched Stanley disappear. He didn't think it was fun at all. That night, Thomas puffed into Tidmouth Sheds. He was very tired. Tonight, he wanted to be with his friends. <gasps> Cinders and ashes, he gasped. Stanley was in his berth. Stanley blew a high sound from his whistle. Then Gordon blew a low sound. And Emily trembled a sound no one had ever heard before. All the engines whooshed and whooshed with laughter. Hello, you must be Thomas, whistled Stanley. Hello, Thomas, chuckled the other engines. But Thomas wasn't chuckling. He didn't like Stanley doing his jobs, or pulling his passenger cars, or being everyone's best friend. But laughing in his berth at Tidmouth Sheds was worst of all. I, I have to get back to Great Waterton, he huffed. I have work to do. And he chuffed quickly away. Thomas wished Stanley had never come to Sodor. 